Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do a range comparison with the Springfield Armory 1911 DS Prodigy versus the CZ Shadow 2. And you may think this is an odd comparison, a 1911 versus a double single action handgun. But if you look at the barrel length, you can see they're very similar. 4.9 inch barrel with the Shadow 2, 5 inch bull barrel with the DS Prodigy. Both all steel frames, both I consider best in their class, and even the price, the MSRP anyways, is pretty similar. Let's start with the Prodigy. I consider this Springfield's best handgun launch yet. Very exciting, and I was super thrilled to get it. It ships with a 20 round mag, which is right here, and a 17 round mag. 26 round mags are also available on their site. Forward serrations, I already mentioned a five inch bull barrel. Full length two piece guide rod. This can be purchased with this Hex Dragonfly red dot on there. Now, if you go with that, which is an AOS system, agency optic system, agency arms collaborated with Springfield to make this happen, you're looking at 1700 bucks with the red dot. You will notice that with the CZ, the prices are similar. An all polymer wrapped grip, flat made spring housing that is checkered within the grip and a five pound trigger pull, maybe a little bit lighter, but that short reset that so many people love and come back to with the 1911. I think they did a phenomenal job. I love this gun. Without the optic cut, you're looking at $1,500. Double stack, nine millimeter, 1911. All right, out of the case, I didn't even have to adjust the red dot. I, I was surprised. Usually you have to tweak it a little bit. I didn't have to do that with this handgun. Cerakote black looks great, all steel frame. But the CZ Shadow 2 is much loved, been around longer. People love this too. 4.9 inch barrel, all steel frame. This is the black and blue model with the blue aluminum grips. This. Uh, has a 17 round mag they offer three all right and the plus two base plates will work with these so you can stack 19 rounds in there the msrp on this model without the optic cut in the slide is 1455 dollars it has raised a little bit throughout the years and primarily it's an inflation thing you know the gun market is getting affected by inflation supply chain and everything else that we're dealing with today. But it's a fine handgun, forward serrations, fiber optic front sight, serrated black rear sight. The rear sight is called Hajo, height adjustable only. So you can raise it, lower it for elevation, whatever the case. It has an ambidextrous thumb safety, all right, which will lock up the trigger. And the trigger is pretty phenomenal. The single action trigger pull is right around three and a half pounds, very light with a reset like that. People love the CZ triggers. I love the CZ triggers. And this Shadow 2, even the double action is so nice. They now make this optic ready, $1,615, all right? So that's why I say the price aligns fairly well. $1,700 with the optic, $1,615 without the optic with the CZ. So. You have to put your own optic on there. That's an additional cost. You're looking at closer to 1,900, two grand, depending on what optic you go with. Well, let's go ahead and take a few shots with the Shadow 2. I love this. Yeah, both of these are phenomenal. And both I consider high end. All right, they both look nice. They're priced similar. They, they feel right around the same weight, 1911, double action, single action, both great competition handguns. Overall, you, you just can't make a bad choice. Now, I will say, the 1911 DS Prodigy is priced very low considering the competition. If you look at what's out there in the Staccato line, in the Masterpiece Arms line, and, and others, under two grand is a great deal. The Shadow 2 
is a phenomenal handgun. Both of these, like no recoil at all. So which one would you choose? And I will tell you which one I would choose. Um, first off, I'm, I'm proud to have both. I am a 1911 guy through and through. I kind of laugh when I hear people say, oh, you know, 1911s, they suck. What, have you ever shot one? They are great. I love that single action trigger pull. I love the reset. I love the overall shooting impressions. Uh, disassemble is a little more difficult with this as with most 1911s. It's actually quite easy, but compared to the Shadow 2 or most CZ handguns, it would be considered a few more steps to take. Whatever. Disassemble, little easier with the CZ Shadow 2. Love the aluminum grips, love the polymer wrap grip. Mag capacity, oh, about a round or two different difference depending on which way you go. Both forward serrations, fiber optic front sights, both really nice handguns. I hope I demonstrated that well. So I'm a 1911 guy. I like the 20 round mags and I would go with the 1911 DS Prodigy. That red dot ready, already installed for 1700 bucks. I think it's a great deal. Ambidextrous thumb safety, not sure I mentioned that. I did mention that here. I love the Shadow 2. I think it's a phenomenal handgun. So proud to have this. And I think both of these are great and you really can't go wrong. They're, they're high-end handguns. What I really wanna know is which one would you choose? If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.